Welcome back everyone to Dead Time Stories with Wordfire. And um, we're having super fun with this game, right? Well, I am at least, so I hope you all are too. And I'm gonna click continue before I, you know, start talking too much there. And we just completed the swamp here, so we're going to the next location. Now then, where to next? Uh, apparently we want to go to the French Quarter. Because, oh yeah, we want to go meet that Anton woman, right? With her dresses from Paris. That's Mrs. Anton's house over there. And this here is the pharmacy where I got the medicine. You look around, you'll see how those three months pass by. I didn't think too much about what I was doing. I was paid for a job and I did it. Judge for yourself if I fulfilled my side of the bargain. Probably did. And Daphne probably did it. Oh, here's um here's a cobble. And horseshoe. Oh, we can go into that apothecary. That's a funny looking clock. The hands are missing. I don't think that's oh okay, we can go there. Um I'm guessing this is the carriage. I like the magical carriage without horses. <laughs> I think there's something written behind the lamp, but I can't make it up from here. Why don't you go nearer? Where would you like to go? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's okay. I'd like to get inside, but the door's locked. I'll need a key. Alright. Where's the apothecary? A customer! I'm sorry, I can't help you. The store is in complete disarray. I left simple instructions for how things should be arranged, but no one pays any attention. I could help you if my shelves were in order, but right now I can't find anything. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. Uh, we're probably going to help him after we get those binoculars. Probably going to I love how, how the name of the items uh, appears when you get them. So you don't have to scroll over it. That is, there is a detail um, that I appreciate very much. And uh, so we're probably going to help him with his shelves, right? He's definitely a ghost. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. I I accidentally clicked that. Okay, you and I can't. Oh, I can't back up. So I accidentally clicked here. Um, it's a dog. Okay, well, sure, we'll do it. Clover. All right. Um, last. Yeah, another flask, though. Eyes, apparently. <laughs> um, it's always like, I mean, it's funny, but it's also like weird stuff you have to find in the last few scenes, but it's fine. Not the rabbit. Oh, metronome. I like metronomes. Alright, oh my goodness, so much. What? Wait, pincers. Are those like kind of glasses? With these? No, there's those are aerial glasses. I don't know what pincers is. Um Alright, pointer, baking soda and flask. What? Okay, baking soda on the floor. Um I can barely see up there because my my screen is like tilted. Uh, a bit backwards or like upwards, so I have uh, sometimes I have trouble seeing uh, the top of the screen for for games where it's a little dark. Uh... Now everyone knows that, so that's super cool. Um, what am I looking for? Pointer and pincers. I don't even know what you mean by that game. Like, what's a pointer? The dog? You mean the dog pointer? The dog breed? Okay, those are pincers. Alright. So, what's this pointer business all about? 
Um, the only thing I know is called Pointer is uh, the dog breed. The uh, the bird dog, bird hunting dog breed, and um, I kind of doubting that it's here. So, no, there's a compass. Right. And, um, the hint button is really slow, so I might be, you know, pausing again and waiting for it to, to load. This is gonna be painful otherwise, so. Alright, so the hint button is charged. You hear the music though? Some funky music. Okay, okay, you can't see my expression, but I'm like, what? Okay, can someone explain? Yeah, someone please explain to me what the that was. All right, I got baking soda, but what was that? Random. <gasps> it's a pumpkin head. All right, what's this? Oh my goodness. Hello. Alcohol. Um. Oh. The bottom shelf should have only white and blue containers. Alright, so let's switch some. Oh. Uh. Correct. Alright, let's, um. Oh, hello. There are names written here Joseph, Rainey, and Alphonse. Alphonse? Okay. Uh, let's go here. Oh, hello. I have a seahorse. I have a horseshoe. <laughs> Written here, but I can't see it clearly. Bessie. It's Bessie. Why did you not just go nearer? Something wrong here. It's a bucket. Forget us not. Forget who. Bessie. And we've got Alphonse. Uh, PH, right? Because this is English, not Swedish. No, that was not right. That was an F. Alphonse. Or Alphonse. Rainy. Joseph, right? Um. That's PH, though. Alright, so we got, um, six more names to go. So I can totally. Holy, I can totally read. Here's something. Chance. All right. Uh. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. Five left. Oh, here's something. Alaya. Okay. Alright, four left. Let's see if there are any more here. Ezra. Eh. Alright. Awesome. Mm. Uh, I wanna know what it says here, though. Can make oh, I have the binoculars left. Okay. Oh, move the lamp? Okay. The items is... I'm a bit unwieldy for that purpose. Why? That does not make any sense. Oh. Clock hands. Okay, cool. There we go. Something right inside the clock, but I can see it from here. It says, Nathan. 
Alright, Nathan, you're up. You're up, Nathan. Here we go. Two names left. Uh, one of them is probably behind the lamp. The other one, I have no idea where it is. We throw the- oh. I broke the lamp, hopefully no one will care. It's just Elfie. Alright, we got one name left after this. No, I, I, I did not click the hair. Oops. Alright. And where's the last name? Woohoo, music! You can see me dancing in my chair, which is just as well, because that's probably not something you want to see. Is there a name in here? I don't know. <gasps> Where is the last name? Alright. Name right on the street. Oh! Here it is! Aha! Esther! Name written on the street. I totally got a free hint there, right? Esther. Oh, we got a free hint. Alright, got all the names. I removed the screw block from the well. I don't think it's haunted anymore. Wow, it was haunted? When? What? It was haunted? I can't do it. I won't give that bad medicine to Mrs. Anton no more. She's been good to me, and she suffers so. Now you listen, Bella. You mean nothing to Mrs. Anton, no more than a flea. And we had a deal. I doctored your mama for free. I just can't. All right. Guess I'll just have to give Suzanne Waits that love potion she asked me for. <gasps> Suzanne? She likes my William. She asked you for a potion? She did. I told her no, but maybe you and I aren't friends like I thought. No, please. I'll, I'll do as you say. That's better. Here's more medicine. Just one pinch in her tea come three o'clock. Swear it. I swear. Wow. She just went totally like corrupt or something? Um, or I don't know exactly how she was, you know, as a person from the beginning, but um, she's getting kind of out of hand now. Um, that's like not worth it, right? But, but I guess you mean, I mean, she's pragmatic and, you know, uh, we're gonna- I must have something in here that will help. How can I cure Mrs. Anton when I have no idea what's wrong? Oh, that's like New York, New York in accent. All right. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh my goodness. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Major hitbox over here. Okay, I did not see that, but we are totally doing the scene. He's gonna say, I'm so good at this. Iodine. Tooth. Tusk. Broom. Tusk and broom. I'm just clicking other stuff, I know. I'm kinda trying to find what I'm looking for, really, but... Ink pot. Kitten! Kitty! There's a tusk. Uh, ooh, there's a bow. Um. Oh, I want a unicorn? Is a unicorn here? What? Where? Oh, there. 
Ink pot. Tooth and broom. Ink pot, tooth and broom. Oh yeah. There's a broom. Alright. Ink pot and tooth. What kind of tooth? There's a lot of teeth, but okay, I want a tooth in like singular. Um Oh there's the ink well. Okay, ink pot. <gasps> there's a tooth. Alright, we picked up iodine. That's totally for the apothecary. Hello. It's totally also for the apothecary. This book lists po poisons and their antidotes. I might be able to make an antidote, but first I need the name of the poison Jesse used on Mrs. Mrs. Anton. Alright, so we're curing her. Okay. Right. Let's do this. Alright, cool. The blues. What? My oh my goodness. Okay. Blues. Yeah, oh, okay. Blues and whites down here. Should have only white and blue containers. Okay, so, it but there's more than, you know. Do not place any packets in the column ending in five. No packets. Okay. Seems to be in place already. This one? I don't know which one. Oh, that one. Okay. Cool. Okay, so they, they lock into place. Oh, that's how they lock into place. Oh, cool. That is super awesome. Come on. Come on, please. Okay, that one's right. Okay. This is- that is super- Oh, that is so cool. This game is so cool. The column ending in two should only- should contain only drugs to begin with A. Ammonium. Alcohol. And that one. Awesome! Place only bottles on the second row. Row. This is a row. This is a row. This is a row. Cool. The two- no, only blue packet. Any blue packet must go in the row starting with three. Alright, I don't think we have to look more, but we'll read everything. The two white packets are adjacent, one of them in the second column. Uh, place laudanum in slot number 20. It's... Wait, wait, where is laudanum? Slot 20. My shelves, finally. Oh my goodness. Now I can do business. Yes, now I know just where to find things. Oh, oh, uh, be careful with that pink packet. That's aconite. Very, very deadly. Even in small doses, it can cause cramping and gastrointestinal distress. Yes, do be careful with that. Sold a lot recently. Not sure why. But I want to read all the instructions. Just, just to do it. Uh, chloroform goes immediately to the right of alcohol. Ammonium goes in the bottom row. Tree line goes immediately to the left of leeches. The bottom left corner should have a blue bottle with not one, but not one that contains a drug starting with I. Well, Adana goes immediately below iodine. Leeches go in slot number 35. Alright. Well, you know, accidental puzzle, but it's awesome with these, you know, green things and this plant things, and that was a little fun. This is the poison Jesse gave to Mrs. Anton. Oh, hello, uh, goodbye, ghost, I mean. Oh, it's these pumpkins! This game is just more and more awesome all the time. Alright, we're here again. We want some aspirin, apparently. Is aspirin for headaches? I think so. We don't have aspirin, I think, here. We have other stuff for headaches. 
I actually don't ever, never take medicine for headaches because I don't like taking medicine um, when it's abs not absolutely needed because um, I believe that you might accidentally make yourself immune to it or bacteria immune to it and um, that's bad, right? So, I'm not against medicine, I'm just against, you know, personally taking it when it's not super necessary. So, I, I usually go around, if I had a headache, I usually have it for a, a day or two or something, and, and just, you know, hope it won't go away on itself. Aspirin powder! And I'm cool with that. But we don't need anyone here, so we're we'll going here. Jesse used aconite of Mrs. Anton. I found the recipe for the antidote. I'll put it in the spell book. Oh, here's our next spell. Yeah, oh, ac yeah, aconite antidote. The very only cure for gastrointestinal distress syndrome caused by aconite inception. Green crusty powder crystals, slightly resembling colored salt. Dissolve in water or in any non-alcoholic beverage and drink. Everything except the yellow monk's hood. All right. Uh, I don't know if we can find it here. Can I? Can I? Okay, I can. Oh, Where would you like to go? Check Jesse's home for that. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're getting the yellow monk hood. Oh, my favorite head object scene of the game. I have such bad memories from this one. From some episodes ago, right? Yeah, that's right. That was bad, this thing here. Oh my goodness, that one again. Oh, marble, okay. Yeah, that was not fun. Want that hat still? And, you know, stuff like that. Hello, monkshood. Charred timber. Charred timber. And umbrella. Umbrella Yellow Monk's Hood. Um, umbrella, where are you? Or sweet sometimes, I simply say, Paraply! Because they can't remember the word umbrella and just use the Swedish word. Which makes it all really funny. Paraply. Well, that's for an English pronunciation, of course, but I don't know where the umbrella is. Come on. Oh. Oops. Well, I guess that was obvious, but where is the flower? Is this the flower? No, I don't want to have any fries, thank you. Where is the flower? Oh. Seriously, where's the yellow lover I need? Oh, okay. Thank you. Right. We got everything, so... Should be able to do it. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? Oh, baking soda. Oh, my goodness. I saw it's a sewing kit. I was like, what? Alright, empty packet. Here we go. Oops. Here we go. Western medicine is child's play. That is what the Loa say. Aspirin. Soda. White on white. Flower. The poison make it right. Put these in the mix. Put, this, put these in then mixed a lot. Store in the packet so none is lost. Alright. We're gonna uh, put that in her tea, I think. And, oh wow, I'm always having so much fun. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that next time. So we'll go put the antidote in her tea next time. Um, actually, we go to Miss Anton, friends. because I might, you know, forget what we're doing otherwise. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna put in her tea next time. So we don't have time for that now. And, uh, you know, go from there. You know, just see where the game takes us, because uh, I have no idea. You know, we're just... 
it's super awesome, but I don't know, you know, what, like, the point is, but we're just, uh, listening to, to Jesse's story, basically, and having fun. So, super awesome. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you're having a good time. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon.